Hey guys, uh, back with another little rockumentary, uh, Saki, um, from Nemophila. Um, this should be super cool. Um, and again, I'm just kind of in a, a learning mode, I guess, this morning. Uh, just want to see some stuff like this. Um, see if I'm pronouncing names right. And just learn a little history about the bands, you know. I just think it's, when you really love a band, I think it's really, uh, respectful, uh, to learn more about that band, how the band came to be, um, other bands that they were in. Um, so I want to do some of these. This, this channel seems to have a bunch. Uh, so a pretty cool channel, you guys. Check it out. JP Rock Metal. All right, let's jump in. JP Rock Metal World. And I did try to make the screen a little bigger. Somebody had commented they couldn't see subtitles. So I did try to make it a little bit bigger for you guys. Hi hi hi, welcome to GP Rock Metal World. Japan has many of great and talented female guitarists. One of them is Saki. This video is about Saki, great, talented and beautiful guitarist from Japan. Saki is a Japanese heavy metal musician, guitarist and songwriter. She was born on October 4, 1990. She is best known as guitarist of the all-female band Mary's Blood since 2012. She is also a member of the all-female band Nimo Pila and Amairu. Saki has been sponsored by Killer Guitars for over 10 years and often uses a custom-made faces vice model. In 2021, they released her signature model, the 7 Strings KG Fascinator 7 The Empress. Saki's father listened to western music of the 1970s and 1980s, but she not fall in love with it until junior high. She received her first guitar guitar from the father of one of her younger brother classmates. Brian May was the first guitarist she became a fan of Queen. Saki was inspired to become a musician after seeing footage of Saiki Matu reunion on NHK. From 29 to 2010, she was a member of Death Rose, the pioneering of female heavy metal band. While majoring in Chinese at university, Saki made her professional debut in July 2010 as a member of the all-female rock trio Mix. In 2012, Saki joined the all-female heavy metal band Mary's Blood. Yeah, Mary's Blood I've heard of, obviously you guys know that. Um, I definitely gotta check out some other bands she's been in. So much fun, and killer guitars are cool, and you can get them here. Um, you can get them on eBay, actually I think at a pretty reasonable price, but on the website you can't really order there, it's really weird. Um, hopefully someday I can get one, I'd like to have one, um, but we'll see. After taking part in similar performance at Now No Yawn 2017, Saki organized the World Guitar Girls Collection project, which features several female rock guitarists playing famous songs in instrumental medley format. Saki met vocalist Mayu through a mutual friend and was part of a backing band that supported her at an August 2019 live session. Feeling that the lineup with Harakuchi-san, Hazuki, and Murata Tamu was too good to be one of, they decided to form a band called Nimo Pila. In 2020, Saki formed the musical project Amahiru with French musician Frederic Leclerc. Saki performed lead guitar, while Leclerc plays with, rhythm, and bass guitar. They first met in 2015 when Mary Squad opened the Leclerc Ten band, Dragon Force, in Hong Kong. Also in 2020, Saki took part in Shred Racers Online F2, an event produced by Young Guitar Magazine and Nippon Cultural Broadcasting to showcase technical guitarists. Saki began a solo career. Yeah, I've heard of Nippon. I'm gonna have to check them out. I've heard that name before. So, you know me, guys. Gotta check it out. With the February 10, 2021, release of the instrumental Brightness, which features Slack Luck on bass, Epic Kaki Bodies, Coin Hansen, and drummer Sun Minari from Blind Man. That is Saki, one of best female guitarists from Japan. Hope you like it and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos. And thanks for watching.
very cool. Yeah, I, I mean, 10 years she's been with Killer Guitars. That's super cool. Um, get a sponsor, you know, you don't have to worry so much about gear. Um, it's always an issue, you know, and everything is so expensive now. Um, guitars that were $2,000 in 2020 are now $3,000. Um, so it's crazy out there. So super happy she has a, a cool sponsor with Killer Guitars. All right, guys, uh, you'll see more of these. Um, I got to look over this channel. It's super cool. I'm going to subscribe because I appreciate being able to react to it. Um, so super cool, guys, and um, hope you guys have a great start to your week, and I'll see you soon.